we've been able to have these conversations and let people know of what we have to contribute as DACA recipients and why people would be missing out if they don't give us an opportunity to continue contributing. And then after that, they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, hey, I'm just here to help educate, share my story so you know what's happening. And as a voter, you can make a more informed decision because at the end of the day, it's the voters that are going to decide a lot of, a lot of what happens next in our lives. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's very well put and it's very um, deep perspective. I'm just kind of processing it all. Um, <laughs> no, but that's, that's very insightful. Um, there, there is a sector of our population that does address some of their concerns about a, a topic like DACA um, to fall more so under the umbrella term of uh, immigration. You know, Nebraska, we, we've seen many waves of immigrants throughout, you know, throughout the history of the entire state, really, you know, whether it be Germans, Czechs, um, you know, in, into the 90s, a lot of, uh, you know, Mexicanos or into Central America. Um, how do you, how do you break the ice, you know, the, the conversations? How do you introduce somebody who has, expresses their fears about the topic like immigration? And how do you, I guess, get them to at least hear you out human to human? Yeah, that's a, that's a very interesting question because there are some people that are not going to want to listen to you at all. The people that are willing to listen to you, I have an easier time talking with because they're willing to be challenged. But I've talked to people all over the spectrum and it's, about agreeing to at least one thing, coming to terms with something, at least one thing that brings us together. And a lot of that time, it's like, hey, the, the public perception out, out there is that we are now the other, you know? In our history of our country, that there has always been an other, some kind of like immigrant population that, you know, people vilified or they made the red herring. And that's what I tell them. I'm like, we've gone through this iteration in the 200 plus years that our country has existed. And here's why that is a false narrative for DACA recipients and immigrants in general. And once you're able to communicate that point, you're able to at least have a more, more engaging discussion, but there's some people that are just, they're gonna shut you out. And that's where I'm like, hey, we agree to disagree. I hope that, and this might be a little bit sassy of me, but I'm like, Ultimately, the change that I want to create in the world is not limited to one population. I want everybody's lives to be better. So I tell them that I'm like, I hope that one day the work that I do, whether that's, you know, working in DC one day or being a state legislator, I hope that it benefits you. Because ultimately, I know that I'm stronger when you're stronger and when your neighbors are able to live the life that they genuinely deserve. And that kind of stuns them. They're like, so you're you are wishing me good luck with my life. I'm like, yeah, like I get nothing out of hating people, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I get nothing out of, you know, wishing anything bad of anybody because ultimately, again, the work that, I don't know the, how far wide the impact of the work that we're going to be doing impacts people, but I do know that they matter to somebody and I wish them luck on that. So that's kind of how I like <laughs> end those kind of conversations because again, there's a point where it becomes disrespectful and I'm not going to stand for that. Like I've lived under that my entire life. I don't need it. So I'm like, okay, good luck. I'm going to go this way, you know, <laughs> have a good day. But with other people, we can get really into the weeds. And then sometimes they're impressed. They're like, you know a lot for being so young. And I'm like, when you grow up in this world and you kind of have to like pull yourself up, you're going to do every single thing possible to best be ready for whatever is going to happen. And I just happen to be that kind of person where I'm like, okay, let me Google search, let me do some readings and find out exactly what I'm up against so that I can combat it better. Mm -hmm. Wow, that, that is very impressive and empowering to hear you just, just dissect that conversation like that because you, know, you, you as a younger person are taking on these conversations that a lot of even elected public officials will dance around even scratching the surface on many of those topics. Mm -hmm. so I